This old playlist is a bunch of videos that Omega and I took in 2013 at Mondo Baltimore, a great film festival that we attended for PME. I really don't want to go into anything about PME in this video. Everything that you could possibly want to know is already online. So anytime PME comes up in these videos, just remember this dramatization of what it was like to work there. Why have you done this to me? Why? Now I must destroy you. There can be no forgiveness. And away we did the videos and sent them in, but to my knowledge they're not online anywhere, so here they are. Online and being ignored by everyone is not you. Greetings, gentle viewers. I am now here with Dr. Acula. I hear there's about 350,000 of them, thanks what? to Ed Wood. And Gulina. It's actually Gulinda. I have, I, no, it's not, it's not you. I get that all the time. It's easy, Gulina, Gulinda. Note to self, make her rename herself. It's actually, Gulina's much better. We should, well, We can change it. <laughs> Easily. I'm pretty sure the fan base will not <laughs> They won't notice a thing. Yeah. I don't even know why I made that a sticking point. I still anyway. dress up, and I... <laughs> <laughs> point of anyway, we are here in the beautiful green room, though it's not particularly green, of the wonderful autograph theater at Mondo Baltimore's Pity Party. It is. There's much to be pitying about. Oh, it's oh, pathetic. Oh my god. It is. I mean, don't feel sorry for us. We appreciate it, but... This right here is the normal attendance for everything yeah. that we've shown. We're pretty proud of it, actually. Uh, up until the taint. The taint was actually quite successful. The taint last night. Oh, yeah. We had the director, uh, Q&A after the movie. I thought it was quite exciting. It was very exciting. So okay. much so that I brought my Leon. staff of one um, to, I don't know, just be with us today. So what do you two do at the usual, well, today you're comparing the, the events. What do you do at the usual Mondo Baltimore get-togethers that are on every first Thursday of the month? Um, in the evening, check the website. At the Wind Up Space, which is a bar, uh, it's a it's a bar that uh, that actually uh, it, it's also an art gallery. It's also a uh, it's venue. It's terrific. And uh, it's really decked out with a lot of um, uh, Twin Peaks imagery. There's like he's even got the, uh, the the stage with the wavy black and white. It's pretty fun and quirky. Red curtains. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. You have, do you pay a little person just to speak backwards at you? I would love if we could get a There was the one guy, and I wish he'd come back. There was one guy that came to one Mondo Baltimore, and we just weren't thinking. I don't know if you remember him, but he was there, and we could have asked him, and we missed our opportunity. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and no, no, Sean, Sean came? No. No, no. Oh, what? I don't know. Okay. Is that his name? Anyway. It's a good time. <laughs> so, Mondo Baltimore is held at, it's at the wind-up space on... North Avenue in Baltimore. It's pretty terrific. We have a uh, usually a, a, a fun and gnarly crowd of uh, very enthusiastic uh, movie lovers who love um, really bad movies. Yeah. And I think uh, Baltimore is just the kind of town that like really appreciates this. Yeah, and not shy about it. Yeah. We really, really like schlock. We really so like how much of that is because of John Waters? I don't think John Wa John Waters is more of like the best known side effect of living in Baltimore. Yes. I think that would be the best way to describe it. In a very complimentary way, obviously. Yeah. And, but I don't know. I mean, I think there's a draw. Certainly, like people who end up living here, transplants, there certainly is a part of them who loves the strangeness. And we have that here, and John Waters is one of the first things you think of, but, would, I mean. Well, geographically, like Baltimore is between Washington, D.C. and New York. So if you had better places to be, you probably would have gone already. Right, <laughs> so, but that's where we come in. <laughs> so there you have gone Philadelphia. Yeah. Right, yes. Yeah, Philadelphia yeah. even. And, and it's just like this mixture of people who have very strong identities about themselves, and very strong sort of... Yes. 
yeah, sort of peculiar. Uh, pe I don't know. Strange. Yeah, eccentricity. Weird. Yeah. So, take us through one of the usual showings that you have every single month on the on the Thursdays. What happens? Like, what's your role? Um, well, we're it? we're the hosts. Um, I I'm Dr. Angela Gulen. We we uh, basically introduce the film. We we always introduce a shorts feature that has some sort of tangential relationship to the feature, usually. Uh, like uh, we did recently, Mr. T. Mr. T had a film called The Strongest Man in the World, and then we decided to um, pair it up with his, his uh, uh, what was it, Be Yourself or something? Right, right. It was a, uh, it was a short, educational, or sort of, uh, hey kids, you're better than that kind of video. Yeah. He did a bang up job. Mr. T lost, missed a trick when he didn't try to remake the 5,000 Fingers of Dr. T. Oh my that would have been amazing. Unfortunately, uh, it, it would explain how he got so many jewelry pieces. I yeah. always wondered, yeah. and you know, that for yeah, that showing, <laughs> I wore 5,000 necklaces that night when we showed the Mr. T. And it was very uncomfortable. And so I've been suspicious ever since that he's been wearing a onesie, like a dicky they used to call it, but a jewelry dicky. Yeah. So it's like a one piece, it's like a fake turtleneck. I can that see only that. Comes to you. Right? Do you I know really the rumor know. of why Mr. T wore all that gold jewelry? He used to be a bouncer in clubs and he would wear the jewelry of people who got kicked out. No. Often it got ripped off or knocked out or something. Very so he put it on his neck and stand outside, and if the person came back drunk, like trying to get in, he would take it off and hand it back to them. A lot of people didn't come back. It's a very so fancy crowd at that place. Keeping the jewelry. Yeah. That's they just, loved gold, all of them. Apparently so. <laughs> it was the 1980s. There was no silver, was there? Yeah, there was a gold chain. <laughs> Did he ever have any, like, you know, like a like a cameo? Or there was, it also looked very specifically gold. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. That but uh, we end up hosting a shorts feature, and then um, normally we show a feature, and a feature with a drinking game that we devise. And, and um, can the audience. Uh, yell things at the screen or uh, better. and it's encouraged. Yeah. Throw their underwear at right you. Have we done that yet? Underwear? Uh, yeah. I think it's it was a, a challenge. We just wanted to bring freshies, that's all. Yeah. I really. I it's my personal. It, it's personally. right across the street from the art school. So. I want decide. freshies, but it's a good idea. <laughs> like, yeah. Throwing things, we, there have been things thrown. We have Little been thrown. things. Sometimes we say, please don't throw that. Yeah. But it's usually, you know, enthusiastically driven and, you know. But the game is a big part, and it's a really Dr. Acula is the brain behind it. come that. up with a, a drinking game for each film? Yes. For yes. every single film, we come up with four rules. Usually the last four, the fourth rule is our uh, expert drinking. Yes, for that's experts for, only. That's for something that happens so many experts. times in the movie that if you do it every single time, you will black out. Yes, Yikes. we don't allow that. Yeah. We often try to get people cabs. <laughs> we offer really it. Too uh -huh. into it. Well, if, we, if you want to do another Mr. T centric one, you have the Five Thousand Fingers, but there's also, there's also the classically terrible Christian movie Tribulation. Oh my God! It's basically this one. Yeah. Okay. It's the second sequel to what is basically the Asylum version of Left Behind. Mm. Yeah, there is a knockoff <laughs> version of Left Behind. <laughs> And it is which, which ironically was made before Left Behind by, by the same people. Yeah. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> were, I don't even know that. They were literally like, like man, if only we had source material. <laughs> if only. Yeah. I'm just thrilled Not that we're going to do ones. another Mr. T. We're going to do another Mr. T night now. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah, we're going to do four, we're going to do the 5,000 figures of Mr. T. <laughs> 5,000. <000. sighs> So, how did you get involved with Troma? Because I noticed they're, you know, helping out with the, the event there, the out in force. Although there is no Toxy, disappointed. I wanted to interview him. Oh, yeah. well, we hear uh, you. Troma. A lot of uh, a lot of the people who come to London, Baltimore, are big um, trauma uh, uh, trauma FX uh, artists. And people do their puppetry and design and stuff like that. People on our committee. Were, yeah. Are associated. 
Specifically, Jason. Not legally. Yeah. But yes. Uh, Jason Koch, who's really awesome, and him and his wife do most of their. Not legal wife, just not girlfriend. girlfriend. Not just. She's a very important girlfriend, but not oh, wife. Really? I thought he was married. No, he's not married. You lied to me. All right. <laughs> so uh, Jason, uh, Jason does a lot of their effects, and he he devised this. He said, uh, I know a lot of people trauma. When we put together a festival, this is a successful sort of bar show, so why don't we just turn this out and get a big theater and see what happens. And, and Lloyd Kaufman said, do it kids, it sounds great. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna be in New Jersey this weekend instead. Can't make it, but I'll send a video instead. Yeah. I think he said that. <laughs> he did, yeah. I previewed the video. <laughs> so how did you get to, how did you choose to get um, Babette Bombshell involved? Oh. Uh, Babette Bobshell is a friend of Jason's, actually, and, uh, wow, this is a really it's deep It's a very couch. deep couch. Yes. Um, yeah, a good friend of Babette's, and Babette's was available, so, uh, we said, why not? And we needed somebody who was involved with Return of Newcomb High, which we couldn't display because it is premiering at the Cannes Film Festival. Oh, we're not showing that? Oh. No, we're not showing that, but we were showing clips. I better get on Facebook as soon as we're done with this. Oh, really? Okay. We're fine. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. We're going to show uh, some preview stuff for Return of Nickel High, and we're really excited about that. Babette's going to do a in it, right? with the yeah. uh, cast and crew, so. Yeah, can't wait for that. We were delighted to have Babette. We yeah, love Babette. Babette. It's been so much fun. And Instant friends. It, true, instant friends. You know what he did uh, at 9 o'clock this morning? He harassed a lot of people in a craft store going, I need to find hair for my put thing. Did he? Yeah, yeah. He said, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was looking for a clump of feathers. Is that Joanne Fabric or Michael? Joanne Fabric. Oh. I'm talking like they were thrown. You're you're talking about a room full of people, full of like seventy year old women who Aww, are really into sewing. Poor things. And he's going, I need some feathers for my pussy. But now they have so many topics for what Mother's Day. What else is coming up? This yeah, will, this oh, will yeah. give them fodder for months <laughs> of not years. So much better than just knitting in silence. Aww, yeah. I can't wait to see the outfit. I'd like to say one thing about Mondo Baltimore is for somebody who's like, why would I want to go to this? And I don't really care about stupid movies and this and that. It's it's kind of all the fun that non-sporty types, no offense to the sports fans, can have. Yeah. It's similar to you know hanging out with your friends, watching a game, and you get to scream and say anything you want, and no one's gonna be like, "Remember when you said that?" You can. See, this is it's a venting. It's a it, it's a very stress relieving once a month. <laughs> yeah. It is so much fun. You have friends that many of them you don't even know their names. It's built it's built a real community yeah. in Baltimore and it's super ridiculously fun. Um, yeah, the nature the, the nature is like the entertainment like in vaudeville they would have acts that were purposely <clears throat> bad. Right. And they would bring them to town to town and people would have a glorious time for And we them. like that. And yeah, and we like that. We like the fact that it's more of a pressure release because it's like, it's like that living room environment where you're just like, the thing you're watching doesn't matter. It's about you guys having a good time and the community having a good time and having just all collectively hating something. Yes. It's almost like a public execution of a film. Right, without That's the killing. Glorious. Yes. <laughs> yeah. so you had that. This is, a, <laughs> this is an old art form made new again. Public execution. Yes, <laughs> without the killing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>